1911 Series 80. What does that mean? What? Um, hear that term being tossed around, Series 80 lockup, Series 80 system. Uh, it's often referred to as, oh, you don't want that one. <laughs> uh, me personally, I've got uh, both uh, styles and I have no problem with it. That's just me, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, what does all that mean? Well, in 1983, Colt uh, added some changes to their 1911. We're going to go ahead and look at some of those changes. All right. So really, um, right away, how you can tell in case the 1911s aren't marked Series 80 like this vintage Colt is, um, racking the slide back, looking in through there, and you can see right there what is different. There is an added firing pin stop right there. It's like an added safety. You can see it right down in there. How that works is unless it's depressed like that, the firing pin will not go. All right, much like what these days? A Glock. <laughs> All right, but yeah, okay. That's it right there. So let's go ahead and look a little bit further into it and take the slide off and show you also what makes it work in the frame. So let's dive in. So here it is and that's it right there. You can see how it depresses and I'll put a um, Series 70 if you will slide right next to it so you can see just the difference in the two. If you notice right there, there is no safety. The firing pin safety right there that's on there, it's not on this one. The piece is pulled out of the slide, so you can see, and everything is the same as the John Browning would have intended, except for that piece right there. And that is the firing pin stop safety that's what it looks like it's a plunger it's got a spring right there and there you see the hole cut out in the slide where it lives and on the uh, kind of a positive note <laughs> um, the firing pin stop here in the slide does make it easier for reinstalling the back plate and compressing the firing pin along with its spring by pushing into the firing pin stop and then using your tool, in this case a golf tee, it uh, helps you push it through and then by releasing the firing pin stop, it holds it in place. Now I wouldn't go ahead and trust it completely. I always cover it, taking your back plate and putting it back in there. And then by pushing, the firing pin stop resets it everything and you're ready to go okay moving on to the frame there you see the series 80 and you'll notice right there on the side there's something quite different right here and that's the lever that pushes that firing pin stop and how it works is when you pull the trigger I'm gonna go ahead and hold the hammer back here when you go ahead and pull the trigger, you see it pop right up. That's what's bumping into the firing pin stop in the slide. Just like that. Now side by side to the Series 70, you notice it does not have that. So that gives you kind of a look at the difference right there. So here's a look inside, and what you're looking at is right on the side, right there, you'll see the lever right there. And what happens is when you pull the trigger, you see it move, okay, you see it popping that lever up to the top of the frame, and you can see the trigger bar is what's actually making it move, and pushing into it. And this is where the... I guess you could say somewhat negative comments come from the Series 80 saying that it adds things to the trigger pull. See how it works right there. Removing the hammer right here, you can see the first part of the lever system is right there. 
get it out of there so you can see what it looks like. And there it is. That is the top portion of it. It's a little dirty. <laughs> Another good reason why to get these things apart. Okay. And now the second part is held in by the sear and disconnector spring, or the uh, pin, rather. So here we're going to remove the sear and disconnector pin, and the pieces will fall right out. So disconnector and sear, and there is the last part of the system, right here. Here is just a rough demonstration of how this works and what happens is when you pull the this is the way it's set up inside the 1911 and when the trigger is pulled it hits this lever right here the trigger bar comes straight at it and hits it and that uh, you can see where right here it tilts it so that it pops that up and runs into the firing pin stop on the slide and that is how it works and that's what they look like there are things you can buy uh, like shims and get rid of this all together and replace it with a shim and then do away with the firing pin uh, block in the slide and kind of override everything and then turn it into a series 70 for say um, but the main important thing is you want to get that shim because there is that extra space in the frame that's made for these uh, pieces right here Okay, and the last thing we're going to talk about here is the half cock notch. That is something else that has changed on these things. And here you notice, there it is. It's very close to the firing pin. It's very close. It does not go back very far. You can barely tell, in fact, that it's on half cock. And here you see the Series 70 style. Just see how far back that is. So that's the other thing that has changed. They positioned it a little bit closer. I guess that's so that it doesn't, uh, in case it were to trip off, it's an extra added safety. It does not have enough inertia, perhaps, to discharge the round. But anyway, that's a quick look. <laughs> at the Colt Series 80 uh, 1911. What is that? What does it entail? So there you go. I'm Batjack JW. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on another video.